Well, I just finished making a tutorial on this, and I figure, hey, I'm in the car already. Might as well read the documentation a little bit more, learn a little bit more, and pass it on to you. So once again, I am hooked to my wife's car using an OBD2 uh, connector. That's an onboard computer uh, uh, connector. Uh, the model I'm running is a ELM327 version 1.4. Uh, we connect to it through uh, USB serial using pseudo screen and then the device name in my case It's forward slash DEV forward slash TTY capital USB zero and my device is a baud rate of three eight four zero zero That's on the back of the device if you're unaware. We'll hit enter Normally it would ask for my uh, pseudo password at that point um, But I've already typed it in and it's sort stored so uh, here we are connected uh, to bring up, once again, the information on my device, just to review, ATZ will reset the connection, and it tells me that I'm running, even though the first letter's cut off here, ELM327 version 1.4. Now, the things I just want to show you, some quick tips. From what I've read, and I haven't gotten into it too much, the command for um, checking RPMs is 010C. Once again, it's not case sensitive and it and ignores white spaces. And I'll hit enter. Now right here you're seeing I'm getting mostly zeros and that's because my engine's not on. So let me turn on my engine here. Oh, my foot was on the gas. There we go. Okay. So uh, I will run again. I will type in 010C. That's 010C. And it's a hex code, so really any of these digits will be from 0 through 9 and A through F. And we're going to have to get into a little hex editing here. As you see, when I hit enter, it gives me a little bit of information here, but it is in hex code. So to actually decode the RPMs, you have to understand hex code, which I'm not going to get into this tutorial, but we definitely will in the future. But what I wanted to show you today is we typed in that command, once again, 010C and hit enter to bring up that information. And the number's gonna slightly change all the time because the RPMs are slightly adjusting. Um, but you don't have to type out, if you just keep on hitting enter, basically a new line, it is um, basically, um, what am I gonna say? Uh, repeating the last command. So you don't have to type the command repeatedly. If you need to type the last command again, just hit enter. And as you can see, we've got our hex code here. Um, I believe it will probably be these last uh, four digits here. Uh, these first ones are basically saying that this is RPM 010C. And if I just keep on hitting enter, you can see that the hex code is changing. Once again, we'll get into more on the hex code here in, a, in another tutorial. Uh, another thing I'm going to do is, let's say I start to type something. Like I'll type in 01, but then I don't do anything. Well, reading the documentation, and as we should see here in a minute, um, if you start to type a command and you don't finish it, after 20 seconds, the car will send you a question mark saying, what do you mean? So I just thought I'd bring that up, <laughs> really, <laughs> just in case, uh, you know, you see that. You're like, hey, why is there a question mark? See, there it is. It just appeared there. Uh, so why is there a question mark? Because it's going, what do you mean? You know, why, why did you start to type something and you didn't finish it? So I just wanted to point that out. So things we went over today uh, is one we'll go over more in the future is 010C is to get your RPMs, which is in a hex code. If you want to repeat the last command, just hit enter or send a new line uh, command. Uh, and if you start to type a command and you don't type anything for 20 seconds, after 20 seconds, <coughs> excuse me, the car will say, what? What do you mean? Why did you type that? And it will give you a question mark, as we should see here in just a few seconds, right about, has it not been 20 seconds yet? Here we go, there we go, we got our question mark. So, just a little more, little quick tips, a little bit here and there on using this device, and once again, as I learn more, I will pass it on to you, and hopefully in the future, I'll have more time to work on this. Thank you for watching. Please visit Films by Chris. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description, and I hope that you have a great day.